Hello again. So here we are uh, with the script uh, which uh, demonstrates the density matrix approach to the calculation of dynamics of a closed system. It uh, is basically the same script as before, just a few calculations are done uh, in the uh, density matrix representation. Uh, of course, I would need at some point, for example, initial condition in terms of a wave function. So there is a way here to change turn the wave function definition into into a corresponding wave function state into a corresponding uh, representation of density by density matrix so this script uh, has been turned into into html again so here it is uh, that this html describes the density matrix approach to basically the same uh, same problem so the beginning is uh, there's a everything is the same here is the uh, again three by three Hamiltonian a little bit changed uh, here's the first difference uh, that I encounter or that you encounter and that is that I specify still initial wave function here actually it's accidentally the same as the last wave function that we used in the previous video and now I want to uh, create the density matrix out of it <coughs> so I'm populating the density matrix elements so this is a matrix n by n I fill it first with zero and then I go through all the elements and uh, put in the coefficients of the of this wave function. We have shown somewhere that the um, that row uh, elements are built out of the expansion coefficients of the of the wave function. Now I again choose which uh, which basis is is, um, so is is displayed and I also Def define the time. Now here is uh, something more. I still uh, show the Hamiltonian eigenenergy transformation and I verify the transformation but I also verify that the density matrix that I have created is, um, is, is, is fine because you know uh, nothing can prevent me a few lines above to actually set uh, the elements of the density matrix by hand and then I would have to make sure that they fulfill some properties that the density matrix uh, should uh, <coughs> fulfill. For example, that its coherences, the off-diagonal elements, are in some relation uh, with, the, uh, with the diagonal elements. So the output of that is here. Uh, you can see that in this run nothing has happened uh, to the density matrix it has just passed the test and it's a, it's a correct density matrix now we will evolve the thing according to the evolution operator which we can actually the evolution time evolution of the density matrix can be done using the evolution operator in that case uh, we multiply uh, we, well this is too early so all right so here's the, the definition of the evolution operator here I choose again the basis and here here is the propagation using the well here is some some discussion about the propagation by mm, the density operator so I could do I could do the following so here's the propagation using evolution operator so I multiply my uh, density matrix here I'm using some dummy variable then uh, I multiply my density matrix from the left by the u, by the evolution operator, and from the other side by the um, Hermite conjugated evolution operator, which means the inverse evolution operator. This is how I propagate the uh, density matrix, because if you remember one of its definitions, it's uh, just the um, outer product of two, uh, two, two wave vectors. So it's a wave vector, and... Uh, which is standing in sort of normal way and then there is the other wave vector standing against it and they are sort of sticking their flat sides outside so on these flat sides from the outside I put the evolution operators this is uh, this here is an abbreviation of octave or MATLAB for uh, the inverse so it's sort of I'm dividing by a matrix <coughs> so this is not the only way how I can propagate the uh, the row uh, there is an alternative wave too, one that is actually more complicated, more involved, involves big, bigger matrices, but as uh, it is very often in uh, quantum mechanics, uh, 
this bigger formalism is able to include a much more general dynamics, which we don't have yet uh, in our description because our system is closed. So here is this discussion. Uh, so the row elements can be propagated, as we show, have shown before, by multiplying the row uh, from the left by u and from the right by u to the power of minus 1. Uh, this is the matrix representation of that, but I can also write this in this way. That is, I just group together both of the u's and that group has four indices and it's acting on an operator which has two indices. So in fact, I can specify something called super operator, a bigger operator, which has four indices, which groups together these two evolution operators and write the evolution this way. This uh, looks like basically really achieving nothing, but that achievement will be really big when we uh, when we look into the um, into the open quantum systems. So now uh, to do this, uh, to do this for you know to repeat this uh, is possible. Uh, in this script, it's not done, but I can specify a U uh, which would look like uh, this, and uh, I into that I would put uh, all the necessary uh, use according to this definition up here well, here and I could propagate the u the propagation really makes sense only when we uh, work with open quantum systems and there I will definitely uh, definitely do this so now the cal to calculate the population means only to take uh, diagonal elements of the density matrix at the time specified by the index e and taking real part because otherwise octave, even though the real part, uh, imaginary part is zero, it kind of carries that inform this, that uh, thing with you and has a difficulty to plot a, compl plot a complex number. So concerning the coherences, I just uh, uh, put the off-diagonal elements into the, into the coherences. Here I kind of put them into one vector and here I'm plotting uh, separately the, I'm plotting separately uh, the populations, so these are the populations, they should be the same as those populations uh, achieved by the wave function re representation because nothing has really changed. This is not the same as, we, as the pictures before, basically only before, uh, because we have uh, put in different initial conditions. And here is the plotting of coherences, really nothing big, I'm plotting the real imaginary and absolute value uh, of the coherences. Now if I open Octave and type N uh, Leuvel von Neumann equation underscore N underscore level the script runs shows me its output and its two figures figure 2 shows the coherences figure 1 shows the uh, populations. You can verify by running both of these scripts that if you put the same initial condition and same uh, same values for the Hamiltonian, you will get exactly the same dynamics in ca in case of populations. Of course, the wave function also hides the uh, coherence evolution, but there is simply nothing to to plot there. You would have to build the coherent element coherence element of the density matrix out of the wave functions in order to get this <coughs> this description. All right, so these two scripts are there for you to play with and you can, you know, you can create crazy dynamics as you want. In case of the density matrix, you should also try some initial conditions that do not look like uh, the wave function, in which case I just suggest that you, let's have a look at the script that you edit the part which uh, specifies this is the wave function specification. So here I am creating the row out of the psi. So here is a place where I can create something directly into the row. So there is one part already commented out here, a little part which uh, was setting an off diagonal element of row to one. This obviously will lead to uh, to my <coughs> check for the consistency of density matrix to cry out and say that it doesn't want to do anything anymore with you. All right, so here you should specify density matrix uh, at your will and it doesn't have to uh, have a form uh, which is derivable, de derivable from the wave function. 
okay that's for that's all for now and hopefully next time we'll do something either with more involved uh, problems like harmonic oscillator or something including already relaxation